The comedian Vic Reeves is well known for his wacky behaviour. Yeah, he loves this. He loves that phrase, which is probably why he's been chosen to head a new campaign for Britain's biggest eccentrics. And Vic is here telling us about that in just a moment. But first, what was that? Stop sulking yes, already. Stop it. First, we're going to take sulking. a look at the surreal <laughs> humour. He was tutting. It was tutting. I, was, I didn't tut. I just took my hand away from my oh, mouth. Oh, oh is he? Now he's making excuses. L let's, let's take have a, look a look at him on tape anyway. Here he is. <laughs> That's what the Americans would call a madcap zany sense of humour. Uh, fantastic. And uh, applause to you for digging up that clip. You see, I was watching you during that. You didn't find that funny at all, did you? I did, yeah, I did. Oh, right, uh, okay. I, you know, we, <laughs> we wrote it. But, you know, we are the, the new Ant and Deck. Oh. <laughs> yes, good. Good to hear it. Yes. And you are also the new launcher of the Great Britain's Award. That's right, yes. Great Britain's, and, you know, not eccentrics, not people who say they're mad. Mm. <clears throat> people who've got fantastic collections, people who've got to uh, do tremendous things. Why did, they, why did they choose you, do you think, particularly for this? Because um, of your madcap zany sense of humour? Well, no, it's not a mad... It's not, no, no, right, that's right, right. not what we're looking okay, for. OK, OK. It's... it's um, because I'm in, in, interesting. Yes. Intensely interesting. Mm. And we saw you... You've got a terrible look about you. <laughs> it's, it's really sort of like... No, you're just getting your you, own back What now. you do is you glower into the soul. <laughs> so what's your soul Ooh, telling what you me there? Yes, what are you seeing? Tell us. There's a depth in your gaze. <laughs> right, well, I should turn away and glower into Bill's soul in a second. But just talk That'd us through sure, that... Really. <laughs> talk us through the bath business. Uh, you were whizzing down well, Park Lane, weren't you, a, a second ago? It's Comfy Banana is a very good example. There's a fella called, who, who's got a company called... Com Comfy Banana, and he... I was driving down the motorway once, and I saw this skip being driven. Mm. And I thought, that is fantastic. I like that. That is good. And uh, so I was driving one of his baths yesterday, and uh, basically, he makes vehicles out of anything. He's got a sitting room that you can drive. He's a good example. There's um, a fellow called Lloyd Scott who walked the oh, full yeah. length. Of, do you know him? Yeah, he's with, with no, the with the uh, head on. That, what helmet. do I mean? The yeah, divers. The diving helmet with helmet. the head on. Yeah, he's <laughs> got. Uh, what is, uh, what's interesting? He's got a head inside the helmet. He did Loch Ness. Yes, Loch Ness. He did the marathon, marathon yes. and he did the New York marathon. Yeah, but he walked the length of, of Loch Ness. Isn't yeah. that? And he was Amazing. very brave because he had to stop for a while and then he went back and started again from where he left off. Apparently, yeah, he nearly died. Yes. Because he fell off a ledge yes. or something. Uh, 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 naked Ramblers on your list, is it right? No, 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 no naked nothing na naked. Is, naked, naked is passe dull. Naked is last week, really? isn't it? Na naked well, this chap here who there. went from Land's End to John O'Groats, you don't consider that he, <coughs> with no clothes on, you don't consider that he's a. Uh, no, we, I should have him shot. <laughs> is that right? That's good. So uh, clothes, naked is... Clothes not, are the new naked, oh, are they? Uh, whoever wanted but to be said, naked uh, anyway. You've got... Uh, I, I'm reading here, obviously, through your soul. We're not looking for zany. We're not looking no. for eccentric for the sake of it. What, what in your mind, then, makes a Great Britain a, a truly exciting person to give an award to? Well, somebody... Get a good idea. You know, have a... I've got a museum in my house, which... Um, <coughs> I've got a, it's uh, I've got uh, an egg which is an Iron Age chicken egg, which I've put a label on. Waiting a long time for that one to hatch. Did you want <laughs> it to hatch? <laughs> boom, <Really>? boom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and you've got a, you've got a strange ambition, haven't you? What unusual ambition yourself about the lighthouse? I want a lighthouse in my garden, yeah. Right. And Why? one day I will, because I want to climb a, a spiral staircase in your garden, a lighthouse to warn people. Or let people know. To warn people that, what? Do you live there? No, to let people know that they're approaching. <laughs> Would your neighbours mind the flashing lights, do you think? Could, <coughs> we could haven't got any neighbours. We oh, live on right. the top of a hill. OK. So a lighthouse would be quite suitable anyway, it. then, I guess. But it would, it would alert you that we are uh, available. So How you could, well, go, go ahead. No, I was going to say, so if people are, are, are listening to you and, and hearing this and they think they've got a great idea... <laughs> what a great way of putting it. <laughs> well, we How do you find this person? How do you find, How do you find them? Or if our viewers are thinking, oh, I think I might have something up my sleeve that Vic would rather fancy, um, they, what they, would you do? They get on, do you know the computer? The interweb. Oh, the interweb. that you, modern you technology business. Tango.com. Yeah. I'll write a letter. And then you'll go and you'll sift through these thousands of replies that you're going to go yeah. and get, and then you'll go and see them. Or I'll go and see them. Yeah, I'd yes. like to. Yes. Is there? A that sounded quite threatening. You see. 
<laughs> no, I will do. Yes. You don't sound, to be honest with you, you don't sound hugely excited about this project. But I'm, I'm fantastically excited. What do you want to me? I'm not going to jump up and down. No, clearly. It's very, no, it's very, <laughs> really, very excited. That's really, I think cameras <laughs> could cope at this time of the morning. <laughs> it's St George's Day, isn't it? it yes, is. it is. April yeah. 23rd. Are you pleased about that? Yeah. We're delighted. Are you celebrating? I always celebrate, yes. He's do you know um, yeah, where St George came from? I know you're about to tell us. Palestine. Mm. <coughs> He's a Middle Eastern uh, saint. I think I had heard that somewhere along yes. the lines. Britain didn't have a, a, a saint. But um, would you claim him, for example, as a Great Britain? Um, what, St George? Yeah, I mean, would he be somebody well, uh, if he St. were living St George today, was then? a Middle Eastern dragon slayer. Yes, interesting pastime, really. So, yes, of course. Mm. So, a candidate? Definitely. Yes, I think, definitely. Uh, have you got a good collection at home? I bet you have, haven't you? I bet no. you've got something. <laughs> But you've got something in your drawers. I mean, no, it's just half open <laughs> packets of pasta, sadly. But thanks pasta for coming collection. in, Vic. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, could, that could count. Vic, many thanks and all the best with what will clearly be a very interesting collection by the time you've finished it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. And here's the weather. Hello, Helen Willits. <laughs> yes, and we will have uh, plenty more of those stories throughout the day on BBC News 24. That's it from us. Thank you for being with us, and we'll see you again shortly. So it's goodbye from us, and it's goodbye from him as well. <laughs> and if you're thinking of taking the L1 or the M1, <laughs> which one is best if you're driving north? We've just been having that chat, so bear with us. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye from all three of us. <laughs>